Hi everybody, um, my name is Jenny Serda. I'm coming to you from Boise, Idaho today and I want to share some ideas for growing that ambassador volume. There are some tried and true ways and these are things that I love to do all the time and then there are some things that I like to do occasionally because they're fun for my clients and then there are things that I do sometimes when I have a big goal and I'm stretching to reach it. So I'm going to cover a whole bunch of different ways that you can um, try to grow your ambassador volume, creative ways to reach out to people and engage your clients and your potential clients. We talk about this a lot. Fa follow ups are really like the number one way that we should always be um, reaching out to our clients and potential clients as the foundation of our business. Follow ups are all about relationship building. They're not so much obviously at, at some points during follow up, you're going to be reaching out and asking for a sale. But in general, follow-ups are about reaching out, getting to know people, showing that you care about their lives, making sure they're having a good experience with you, um, making sure they're having a good experience with the products, and all of that eventually will result in um, growing your ambassador volume. Um, when you're being, obviously, <clears throat> hopefully you have a routine for this that you'll use month over month, all the time in your business. That's the only way that I know of to really have a strong, sustainable business. But um, as you're striving for the school, there might be some extra things that you want to fold into your follow-ups. So um, it could be, obviously, you want to follow up with people that you've given samples to. If you're like me, you have given out a boatload of samples in the last six months, right? And I have to be very honest and tell you, I have not always done a great job of following up with those people. Right now, my big excuse, I'm just blaming everything on summer. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is I'm literally messaging people and saying, oh my gosh, how was your summer? It flew by so fast. I may have said once or twice, I think August tried to kill me. <laughs> it was hard, right? Summer is just jam-packed, hard in all the best ways, right? So much fun stuff. But we all share, it's a kind of a common experience to say that summer flew by. So that's a really easy reach out. I am calling people or messaging people right now and saying, so I've been meaning to check up with you and see how you like those samples I sent you in the middle of July. <laughs> so if you've sent stuff out and you haven't followed up yet, it's not too late. Reach out, touch base with those people. Some of them have said, back to me, oh yeah, I really liked them. And some of them have said back to me, they're still laying in a pile on my counter with the rest of my mail that I need to sort. That's exactly where my life is right now. I'm kind of getting to the point where I can sort. So I've just been joking around and saying, yep, yeah, me too, I've got a pile like that too. I just found a thank you note from graduation in May that my niece sent me. <laughs> You know, let's, we're real people, right? And then I will say, okay, I want you to get up right now, go get my happy mail that I sent you, and I want you to go put it in the bathroom. But before you do, I want you to get the hand cream sample out of there. If I knew I sent them a hand cream sample, and put it on right now. Um, it's okay if it's been um, a, a while since you sent those samples. It's okay to follow up now. I have also had people say, oh. I don't even know if I got them, I'm so sorry. And then I just offer to send some more, okay? Um, <clears throat> or meet up with them and give them some more, whatever works best. Let's see. So people I send samples to need to get a follow-up when you're shooting for Founder Circle. Um, people you um, have been um, kind of thinking about sharing samples with, this is the time to make that list, brainstorm it, reach out to those people, offer samples, encourage them to order. Um, you can also reach out and talk to anybody who filled out your job form if you've been doing the aligned sales system. I finally kind of got my systems in place for follow-up and so I'm really just now getting those um, job form people followed up with really well. They've been getting my emails but other than that I haven't done a lot of personal reaching out because it has been a busy summer. So I've been reaching out with my job form people or other kind of survey, whatever survey you've been doing for, you know, people to say they want to be um, kind of kept in the loop on your business. Uh, people who have commented on posts, go back through your page and see if you've posted about a line. Um, have you talked to those people about it? It's okay to, if they liked or hearted or if they made a comment. It's probably a good time to just say, hey, 
man, time has flown by, but I saw you commented on my post about my new business and I wanted to thank you and, you know, just start a conversation and say, you know, if you'd be interested in trying some products, I'm reaching for a big goal. Um, I'd be happy to send you some samples, you know, just get the conversation going. Um, okay. So another group of people that you can reach out to people who have shopped with you, but haven't used their 10% off coupon code. So I have kind of a mix of clients. I've been kind of moving my old clientele into my new business. And some of them have just, boom, hopped on the website, used the 10% off coupon, and they're off to the races. They're doing their thing. They are very comfortable with online shopping. They make my life super duper easy. Some of them have shopped on my website and not used the 10% coupon. So I want to reach out to them and say, hey, don't forget, you have this. Here's how you get it. Um, and encourage them, let them know kind of what's on sale right now and, you know, whatever the promotions are. We've got some really great ones um, this month and next. The other thing that you want to make sure you're doing um, is reaching out with anyone who has shopped with you to let them know they've got stars to use if they've shopped on your website. My understanding is that the stars program, you know, we launched it a little bit after our business launch, but that the stars went all the way back to day one. So you have clients who have shopped with you on your website who have stars to use. Yay. So reach out to them, let them know they got stars. I know you don't get ambassador volume when they shop with stars, but they're getting that for free. They're going to be paying shipping. They're probably going to add some more things on there. And even if they don't, and you don't get more of ambassador volume, you're doing something really nice. They're going to remember that you reached out and let them know, don't let those stars expire. Right. And for the stars, as long as you have, um, any kind of activity, sales activity, within 90 days, the stars don't expire. So even if, you know, we're six months down the road, if you earned your stars in March or April, but you've been kind of continuously buying here and there, you, they're still going to be good. So that's a really cool feature of the stars too. So you can use it as an opportunity to educate your um, clientele on what the stars can do for them. All right. So one other thing that um, you can do is, uh, so so these are like, those are the kind of basic, always available to you ways to, to follow up, don't cost you a thing, easy to do, great service for your clients. Here are some ideas that are gonna be for occasional use probably, or some of you who are super ambitious might do some of these every month. I tend to not because I just know I don't do a good job of these things if I do them every month. That's just me. But we have to do, you know, let's let's work with our strengths, right? <laughs> but here's some ideas that you can use while you're trying to earn your spot in the founder's circle or any other time that you have some goals you're trying to accomplish. Okay, one of them is to do a drawing of some kind. Now you can give away whatever you want to give away. You can give away samples. You can give away um, a gift card to something. You can give away a product that you buy with your stars. So it doesn't cost you anything except for maybe shipping. Uh, and maybe you can ship it direct if someone's not here or you can include it in your own, you know, product order. And so you don't have to pay extra shipping for that. You could say everybody who places an order um, gets entered into a drawing this month. You can say anybody who refers a new customer, everybody who fills out my job form, like think of the thing that's going to generate the most activity for you that will end up in ambassador volume for you and reward that behavior. <clears throat> All right. So doing a drawing, doing a bulk order. Now this is one I really try to not do honestly that often. My clients love bulk orders. They just want to order from me instead of my website. I've got the ones that are always on the website and then I've got the rest of these uh, folks in my group. I've got a large group of people that I know if I do a bulk order, they'll order. They're just much more likely to order that way. So um, I do these when I feel like I need a little extra volume to hit my goal for the month. Uh, reaching something like Founder Circle is a great time to do something like this. Um, <clears throat> and then maybe what you could do is everybody who gets in your bulk order can be entered to win a prize that you buy with stars. So um, that's one way to do it. And then after they purchase from your bulk order, 
you definitely want to do the work to get them shopping on the website. So the follow-up to that is going to be, okay, thank you so much. I appreciate you doing your bulk order with me. I want to make sure that you know the benefits of shopping online. And you know your people. There are going to be some, like my mother, who will never shop online. Don't even worry about that. Those people take great care of them. They deserve to not be left behind because they don't love technology. But others that you can move in that direction, that's really important to try to do because you want your business to be scalable as you go. So, bulk orders. Um, you can do bulk orders in a lot of different ways, but you could do, uh, one of the ideas for, I would still call it a bulk order, is to do like an album sale. My people love an album sale. You create the pictures or you use the stock images that we have available. Um, and if you can put your own face in there a little bit and your own experience, that's always a good way to do it. I try to mix in like, we have the graphics that'll show the attributes of each product, like what are the key ingredients and things like that. Put those in there. And then a lot of times I'll just pull them up and I'll take them in PicMonkey and put what the price is. Uh, you could do a dollar or two off or not. Uh, or you could offer free shipping. You could like somehow incentivize people to do that. And then I always try to put in, a lot of times I'll put the picture in and then uh, on the picture description, I'll say, here's how we use it at our house. My son loves it for this. My husband, blah, blah, you know, whatever. Tell a little bit of your personal story um, in there as well. Um, and then, you know, when that comes down to it, you can have people come in. I usually do free porch pickup and then um, you can do a flat fee for shipping. Sometimes the, the draw, I think, for a lot of my folks is, they save a little bit on shipping. I usually charge $5 for shipping, uh, which is a little bit of savings, but it's more work on my part. So I, I just offer that because that's something that I pull out when I need to um, produce some more volume, but I don't want to be doing it as a standard way of running my business. Um, oh, oh, here's a fun one that I did. I haven't done this um, for a while, but it's been something that I've done in my previous business is offering the opportunity to shop my discount. Now, if you need your commission to pay for things, don't do this. <laughs> or consider how you wanna do it. Like, what I did when I've offered this was, um, like, people who are really good customers, I might offer it on a one-on-one -on -one basis and say, you know what? I really think you'd love this product. If, you, if you're interested in trying it, how about I offer it to you at my discount just for this for this month, just so you can see if you like it. Or one thing that I've done in the past is just consider like, who are five or 10 people that I would really like to have join me in business? And then I can invite them to learn a little more about the business side of things. And at the end of that time, when you've taught them a little bit more about the business side of a line, they have the opportunity to shop your discount. So um, that's a kind of a fun way to I don't know, like people are like, oh, I get to shop your discount. Oh, this is how much I could save if I was an ambassador. And then you're getting the volume. And then you've also kind of qualified some leads to see if they're interested and in maybe joining you down the road. Uh, so that was a fun one that I enjoyed doing a lot. And I, I might just need to pull that one out here soon because it was a lot of fun and, and it didn't cost me anything. Um, but I didn't earn the commissions on those. So um, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I, for something like this, where you're trying to get into the pool, you want to get that team leader volume, it's, it's probably a good compromise to give up your um, commission on a certain percentage of your sales because you'll be getting yourself um, into a pool that will pay you for years to come. So that is probably a good opportunity. I wouldn't do that all the time. This is a business you have to make money, but sometimes that could be an idea that you want to pull out. All right. I've also done progressive discounts or progressive prize pots. Um, so pro progressive discounts could be, you know, once we reach $100, everybody who's already placed a purchase gets 20% back. And probably because you want them to shop online, you're probably going to end up doing something like, um, you know, you're Venmoing them back 20% of their sales before tax and shipping. Um, if you've got um, a lot of nearby people who are going to come over and not cause you any extra work for shipping things out, you could say, you know, I'm going to do the bulk order and then I'll just charge you 20% less is another option. Um, so a progressive discount 
We hit 100, you get 10% off. We hit 200, you get 20% off. And then go up from there. If you want, you're probably going to nuance it a little bit more. I would do math. I would do the math. Um, you could also, if you are taking advantage of some discounts, like if you stocked up on hand creams when they were on sale, or you stocked up on the red light wand when it was on sale, or different things like that, you can leverage those um, as well. So this kind of goes into the next idea, which is a progressive prize pot. So you can get, you could say, you know, if I get to $100 in sales, I've got a hand cream that I bought on sale, you know, and then I can award that if we get to 100. If I get to 150, I'm going to add in another hand cream. If I get to 200, I'm going to add in something else. So um, progressive prize pots are fun because you can shout out everybody who's purchased. Uh, and progressive discounts work the same way. Shout out everybody who's purchased. Say, ah, oh, we're only $10 away. You know, like it kind of gets some excitement going. And it gets people thinking about purchasing that might not have otherwise purchased because then they'll be able to get more of a discount or they'll be entered to win a prize. Um, all right, those are some good ideas. Another fun one that I've done before is bingo. You could just create a bingo card and you can put the um, Align products with numbers. And then you post it and ask people to pick what numbers they want to have as their bingo numbers. They each pick four numbers or five numbers and... I can give you more details on that if it's something that you want to do, just message me. But then you go live in your group or um, wherever, and you call the numbers, and as you call them, you're like, oh, number, number six is water hand cream. And then you tell them all about the hand cream, and you smell it, and you try it, and you show it to them. And then the first person who gets bingo wins a prize. Or you can do prizes for multiple bingos if you have things on hand that you want to give away. But again, don't give away, you know, all of your profits. Don't go too crazy. People get excited just about a game and they're competitive and they're excited to participate and win prizes. It doesn't have to be something super amazing. Trivia is fun. It's just kind of an easy thing that you can do because anything that's kind of in pop culture these days, you can say... Um, you can Google. You can say Friends Trivia Quiz, and then you Google it, and there's a whole quiz with all the answers. And so you could just go live in your VIP group, and you could just do a Friends Trivia Quiz, and then the person who gets the most right wins a prize. And you kind of mix it in with some little commercials for your products and things. Uh, you could pick something that's kind of new and trendy. It seems like everybody's watching Suits right now. So you could do Suits trivia or something like the 80s or Friends could be like a throwback trivia. You could do throwback Thursday trivia night. Um, what else is kind of, I think I've been hearing a lot about Ted Lasso, although this last season is over. Uh, so pick what your group is interested in. You could do a fun trivia night and get people engaged. Do those commercials, get people excited. Okay, so I think those are some of the fun ideas that I have. I try to stick with ideas that aren't going to be super expensive for you. I don't want to cut into your profits. Um, some of them will use some of your profits to engage clients. You can use a portion of it, but don't go overboard because we want you to make money. This is a business, so we want you to go in there and have some fun and engage your clients. And... Um, Make some progress on that ambassador volume so that you can get your spot in the founder circle. I know you've got this and our exec team has so many good things lined up this month and next um, to help you get your spot in the founder circle before the end of October. So let me know if you have questions on any of the ideas I shared or if you have more ideas. I know there are a ton of different ways. This was just a brainstorm of some things that came to mind that I've done in the past that I really enjoyed and that my clients enjoyed. But share your ideas below and let us know what you're doing. If you have questions, share them below or just message me directly if you're interested in a little more information. All right, I'm rooting for you. You've got this. We'll see you later. Bye.